guys, so today I'm going to be reacting to crazy secrets people would only share anonymously. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. I used to comb my butt hairs with my sister's styling comb and she would piss me off. Butt hair? Wait, how long are your butt hairs that you can comb them? <laughs> what the heck? Dang, your butt hairs must be really, really, really long. And how do you even think about combing your butt hair? I had no idea you could even comb down there. When I was very young, I'd put my mum's vibrator in my mouth and turn it on because it felt funny. Oh, ew, yuck, 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 yuck. Oh no, that's honestly so disturbing to know. You put it in your mouth? Oh, oh no. I have told my husband and my mum knows but nobody else. When I was seven, I pooped the bed in the middle of the night, just like a perfect log in my underwear. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was scared of getting in trouble, so I threw my underwear and my poop behind the dresser in my bedroom and promptly forgot I did that. My mum found it two weeks later. Didn't it stink at all? I thought the entire room would stink. Oh, seriously, you threw it behind the dresser and you forgot about it? How do you forget about your poop? How do you forget about it? Seriously, what did it smell? Oh, that's nasty though, that's nasty. One time my wife and I got really drunk. The scallops she ate weren't sitting well, so she went to sit on the floor of a hot shower. Oh, that helps, that honestly helps, I didn't know that. I joined her and we were just sitting there hugging and she suddenly pukes all over me. Oh, not too bad as we're in the shower anyways. A little later, she has to pee and since neither of us want to move, I tell her to just go. So she does, on me. She peed on her husband. <laughs> what the heck is this story? Damn, they must have been really, really, really in love, you know. <laughs> and they must have been really, really not bothered to move at all. She pooped and peed on him. Wow, the love is real, you know, the love is honestly real. This is true love right here, finding somebody like this guy. When I was a kid, I had Sims 2 for PS2. I would make my Sim woohoo and let the controller vibrate on my clit. I made my Sim continuously woohoo. I was a weird kid. <laughs> oh man, as a kid? Wow, wow, as a kid though. <laughs> okay then, okay. The first time I had anal sex, I wasn't aware that I needed to clean everything out beforehand. It got real messy real quick, I was mortified. Too much information, too much information. I have two cousins that are married. The rest of the cousins were outraged and appalled when they decided to get married. Oh, they married each other? Oh, I thought they just got married to separate people, but nope, they married each other. Incest. Ugh, what the heck is going on? But my aunts and uncles were all like, well, their grandparents were cousins. Oh. So it runs in the family? What? Oh man. To which most of us were again even more concerned. They're still married and trying to conceive. What is going on? We've just learned to deal with it. What else are we going to do? What the, what, huh? what the heck is going on with this family? What? They're marrying each other within the family? Dang. I got a wooden board stuck in my butt for a day. Went to school and stuff. Was terrified it was going to be stuck forever and a doctor would have to get it out. Wait, so how did I get it out? <laughs> but, ugh. How did you get a wooden ball stuck in your butt? What were you doing? I sneeze when I'm turned on. I'm always turned on. Everyone in my life thinks I have bad allergies. In reality, I'm just thinking about effing half the guys in the room. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my freaking gosh. Well, my wife knows this now, but I wouldn't tell another soul. A few years ago, me and my wife moved into her parents' place to save some money. So we were just adjusting to living with parents again. It was strange and uncomfortable. I woke up one morning and it felt like the world was about to fall out of my butthole. <laughs> oh no. I went to open the bedroom door and could hear my father-in-law getting ready to head out for work. I'm panicking thinking, F, I know this is going to be bad. I'm not going to take this mega dump so early on into our time living here. I need to devise a plan. What are they gonna do? Please don't throw your poop in your bedroom like the other kid did. <laughs> Please no. I stayed in the bedroom, emptied out the little bin we had in the corner and pooped into the bag that was placed in there. You pooped into the bin inside the room? Oh! I wiped my butt with some tissues that happened to be on the side. Stand up and tie a knot in the bag. Ugh. They pooped in the bin. Oh my gosh. That must smell so bad. Now I'm getting ready for work with this bag of poop by my feet. My next stage is to get rid of this thing. I can't do it in any of the bins here. Think F. I'll just take it out and find the nearest one I can see. I even question putting this bag of poop in a neighbor's place if nobody sees. Seriously, all that effort? Just go to the freaking bathroom next time. Just go to the bathroom. No one cares, okay? It's better than pooping in a bin. <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on. Pooping is a natural process. Nobody cares. I walked 15 minutes to work with a bag of my own crap in my hoodie pocket until I could find a public beam to throw it in. Gee, just 
Seriously, just use the bathroom. Nobody cares, okay? Don't ever think it. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.